guys, welcome back and thanks for taking the time to join me. Um, this is the first wee video after my July holidays, so what I'm going, what I'm doing is I'm tying up a wee selection of um, wet flags. And one of them is a red ribbed shooty olive pattern. Now, uh, I've got a couple down here at all, so I just thought I would film it to, to show you. That's it in the size 12. And I've couple here done on the, the size 10 so I'm going to show you the, the size 10. Now the, the hook in the vise is a Camazon B175 and size 10. The thread I'm going to use is the Uni 3801 black so hopefully we should have enough thread on this spool to get a fly out of. I'm just going to come in and get my thread started. A couple of mil behind the eye of the hook. And then we're just going to work our thread down Just until we get to the bend of the hook and then remove the, the waist tag of thread. Now there's a wee tag on the back. I don't want to use a holographic red tinsel and large. And get this off uh, fan yards, but other suppliers are available. Most of your tackle shops will supply the holographic tinsel. Now I'm just going to take a turn just pull it in and I'm going to work the thread around the bend a wee bit and then bring the thread just back up until the th I let the thread go and it's in line with the barb of the hook. Now just for a wee bit of protection I'm put on a wee dab of super glue and then we'll bring up our red holographic tinsel just in overlapping turns to make the thread follow your thread round a couple of turns in and then come in and trim away the the waist end now the tail on the fly you're looking some uh, golden pheasant tippet dyed red so I'm just going to pull this in between my finger and thumb and then I come in with my scissors trim away the amount of fibres that I like to see in the tail just take the feather away at that stage that'll have all the the fibres lined up for you I'm just going to tie this on right about the, the length of the body or so with nice tight turns going forward don't worry about sticking up at the minute we'll sort that out and we'll come back down always keep your thread going forward the rib is just a strand of blue bright floss number three. Take a turn, pull that in the length. The next rib is an oval gold tinsel. And this one here is an oval gold tinsel in size 14. This is a Vanyard's oval gold tinsel. Then at this point I'm just going to work my thread forward just tying everything in and then bring it back down and open turns now, some people just spiral their thread up you know, over the top of that rather than have it close touching turns but I just prefer to do it that way so I'm, I'm trying to make the fly last. That's my main objective there. Now, the body, the dubbing for the body. This is the traditional Irish dubbing range by Frankie Phillips. And we're going to use this one here. This is a great colour. The sooty olive, urn, sooty olive. So we're going to get a wee bit out of the dispenser here. Now this is a great substitute guys, the traditional Irish dubbing for seals fur. That is a good dubbing. Now, I'm just going to get this anchored onto the hook. I don't want the, the dubbing to be too tight. I want it to spring out a wee bit and come into the dressing. 
Hang that on. Just got a wee bit of loose thread here. Then we're going to bring up the oval gold tinsel first. It's the first rib. And we're looking four or five turns up the body. Follow this around with our thread. A couple of turns will hold that. Come in, trim away the oval gold tinsel. Then we're going to come up with our red glow bright floss number three. And you're just looking the rib, the number three in front of the oval gold tinsel. And then tie that in. Now at this point, any wee favours I want to go for the eye, just sweep them back. I'm going to bring my thread down to the eye of the hook and back up. Now you can come in now with some Velcro if you wish. And just bring out some more of the dubbing into the wee pattern. Just give it a wee bit more leaf. Now the haggle. This is the the dyed olive um, waiting exclusive range. You get this out of or you get this off uh, Lakeland. Fly tang. Now I'm going to use one of the spade haggles at the side. So you'd haggle this. Nope. I'm just going to come in. I just want to check my length of the haggle where I want it to start. And then what I'm going to do is, is just trim the tip away, just leaving this wee tag end as a tan end point. Staff for that up. Now you can tie the tip in, you've seen me doing that before, and then folding it back. Oh, I'm just going to stroke the fibers back. I want to take one turn in front of the other. Now, two turns of this haggle should be plenty, but if you like to take a, a third turn, if you like it dressed a wee bit heavier, you can do so. That's what's good about tying your own flies. Okay, I'm happy with that, so keeping a hold of the stem. Follow this around with my thread. A couple of tight turns in there. Keep your thread tight, don't let it go. Then you can come in and strip off the, the excess fibre. Then you can come in and fold everything back. Your thread's ready at the eye of the hook. Work your thread back up nice and tight and then you can break away the stem of the haggle. Now we're not looking too bad. I'm just going to come in and put a wee like a wax on the thread here. Just take away some of the excess. In the wing, I'm just looking some bronze mallard. Now, I'm going to get my bronze mallard off the, the Irish plucker. So that's it there and you'll you'll find the the Irish plucker on Facebook and the money goes to a, a wee charity as you can see here so and you get a good bag and I have to be honest with you the quality of it is it's fantastic it's second to none so we're going to put our bronze mallard wing on so just take out bring out from the feather what you want to see in your wing just bring it out and just tear this away. Then what I'm going to do here is try and do this on camera. I'm going to fold this in on itself. A couple of times to give us a wing. That's our wing. Now, the length of the wing, that's up to you. You can have it really long, you can have it short, it's, it's your own real personal preference in my view. It's also your tan style as well, so I'm just going to offer mine up. I'm going to have my tips of the bronze mallard coming past the, the first black bar on the tippet. Just there, just hold it on top. And you can come around with a pinching loop. 
take three or four turns just to see what way the wing's sitting. I'm happy with that now. The best thing to do here is just come in and hold your wing, then come in with your scissors and trim away the, the waist ends now. Still keep a hold of your wing, don't let it go. Bring your thread to the eye of the hook. And then build up your head from the eye, just up over the cut ends. Nice and tight. Now, be favour there, just flick that back. Keeping your thread tight, don't let it go. Just come straight in with your whip finishing tool. I'm just putting a wee bit of a shape into the head here at the same time. Pull your thread nice and tight. Come in and trim away your can thread. Now, that's the wee fly done. First coat on the head. I'm just going to put on a wee drop of super glue. This will just seal all the thread turns up for us. And make the head solid. But you do have to come in guys and put on some uh, varnish. So we favour there, I'm going to have to trim that away. Or else you will get a moisture bloom from the super glue. Just take that away. So there you go guys. That's just a, a wee red ribbed sooty olive pattern. Now tie them up size 10s, 12s, maybe even 14s just depending on what uh, lock or still water you're fishing. Um, as always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. Um, if you like the wee videos that I'm putting together and you haven't already subscribed to the channel, um, please consider subscribing. It helps the wee channel grow. Um, for those guys that have already subscribed to the channel, I just want to thank this very much um, for this past year or so for the support. Um, I'm trying to get up to 2,000 subscribers, so if you like, please feel free to share my videos. Um, on any social media platforms or with your friends. Anyway, thanks guys. See you later. Bye.